What up guys, J Pops in the house. Today we are going to be talking about every Funko Pop for this year's San Diego Comic Con. Alright guys, so I put together a list of all of the pops that will be shared with retailers. Um, you guys probably seen lists like this on Instagram where it's just like the store, the pops that are shared with those stores like Hot Topic, GameStop, Box Lunch, Entertainment Earth. I put together the list, um, kind of customized it. If you guys would like this list, I'm going to put the description, I'm going to put the link to the picture in the description below uh, so you guys can have it and know what's going to be shared with what retailer. So this is online and in store, meaning you can get every single one of these pops in store or online. There are three that are exclusive to the convention only, but I didn't put them on the list because you have to be at the convention to get them. I feel like the majority of us are, you know, going to be shopping at a retailer. But I will tell you what they are. They are the Louis Blue Raspberry Otter Pop from the Ad Icons line. He's the blue uh, Otter Pop from the Otter Pop line. You guys know those ICs. There is Wyona Earp. Hope I'm saying that right. From Wyona Earp, the TV show. And there's an unknown pop. As of today, me still filming this, um, Funko hasn't announced what that is. So if they do announce it, um, while this video is being like edited. I'll put the link to the pop in the description so you guys know what that is. But those three, um, the pictures of those two, are exclusive to the convention only and you guys will have to be at the convention to get those. But anyway, let's start with the shared retailer. So I'm gonna put the screen right up here. I'll probably put me in like the corner. I don't know. But anyway, this is my SDCC 2019 Funko Guide. Let's start with the pops being shared with Hot Topic. So the first one we have is Mr. Prickle Pants from Toy Story. We have Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame or Dom. We have Cisco Ramon from CW The Flash TV show and his Star Labs shirt. I think that's really cool. We have uh, from Harry Potter, Fox. And that's a flocked pop. I didn't put the little like sticker that says flocked, but he is a flocked pop. We have Red Chrome, Vegeta, Ruby Rose from Ruby, R-W-B-Y. She's wearing a red cape and hood. That's the pop, really cool. Um, we have Asuka in her uniform from Neon Genesis, Evangeline. Uh, Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. This is from the comic line. I don't believe this is from like the Netflix TV show, but um, moving on, we have Gamora. She's also from the comic line. And the last one we have is Mirror from The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. So I think those are really cool pops. I think there's quite a bit of like a variety there. I think that's pretty cool. We have Disney, Harry Potter, we got some Dragon Ball Z, we got anime, we got Marvel. I think that is really dope. With the release of Toy Story 4, I think Mr. Purple Pants, like the new Toy Story pops that are coming out, I think that's on point. Quasimodo is a classic Disney character that is... The timing on that is just awesome. Um, Cisco Ramon, I think that's an awesome pop too. I know we have a vibe pop, but I think that's pretty cool that we have him in his Star Labs shirt. And the rest of them are all really cool. I think the red chrome Vegeta, not too many people can get their hands on like the red, the chrome pops because they're always with Toy Tokyo and they always have um, some difficulty uh, getting those offline, but those are very cool pops. Moving on to Box Lunch, we have Carl and Ellie as a two pack. Those are, it's like young Carl and Ellie from the Disney movie Up. And you got Carl holding the balloon there and Ellie, Ellie holding her uh, Adventure Time book. I think that's super cool. Uh, we have Moana with Pua and Hey Hey, And this is like a pop ride. She's on the boat and um, it's pretty cool. It looks space friendly. I have no room for any pop rides, but I think that's pretty cool if it's space friendly. We have Forrest Gump with the red hat and the beard. And we have Gotenks as a ghost from Dragon Ball Z. So again, pretty cool variety there. I think that two pack, um, it's very cool. I know a lot of people have been waiting for new pops from Up, so pretty cool that those came out. Moving on to GameStop. There's quite a bit. We have Teal Chrome, Batman. We have an orange, kind of translucent looking uh, Conan. We have a Rick and Morty pop that is unknown still. Again, but if they announce it, I will put the link in the description so you guys know what pop that is. Uh, but just know if you like Rick and Morty, there's gonna be a pop that's exclusive to uh, shared with GameStop. We have Conan uh, cereal. We have Super Conan cereal and it comes with a little mini pocket pop. McCree from Overwatch wearing a summer skin. We have Lieutenant Johnny Rico from Starship Troopers. We have from Captain Marvel Minerva. And we have two pint set, pint size here is what, uh, five stars from Hellboy. There's a deck for a skateboard. Um, I have no idea if those are even, like, do they sell that good? It's a My Hero Academia deck for a skateboard. It's pretty cool looking, but I just don't know if they sell. 
Um, and from the Simpsons wave, the Treehouse of Horrors, we have Kang and Kodos, which is a two-pack and it is glow-in-the-dark. All very cool pops. I think the Simpsons two-pack, I think that is really cool, especially with the whole Treehouse of Horrors wave that they just announced, that new wave of everyone. Kang and Kodos is like a must-have if you guys like um, that whole Treehouse of Horrors and the Simpsons line too. Moving on to Entertainment Earth, there's only two pops that will be shared with them. It is Jaws as a six-inch. Um, he's chomping down on the guy there, I, f I forget their name, and we have Man-Thing. So two pops, pretty cool. Um, FYE, we have two pops also that will be shared with them. It's a green chrome Yoda and a Rick and Morty pop. So again, unknown for the Rick and Morty pop. I know Tracksuit Jerry is one of them. Um, but who knows what store that's going to be exclusive to, so. Moving on to Barnes & Noble, we have Astronaut Snoopy with the dome over his head, very cool. We have a gold metallic Demogorgon from Stranger Things, we have Nagini from the Fantastic Beast in her, you know, looking like Nagini and not the snake. We have Pating? Ting? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. From Doctor Who, from Disenchantment, we have Princess Bean, and from Harry Potter, we have Rita Skeeter. So, very cool pops. They all make sense for Barnes & Noble. They usually get um, pops like this from, from this wave. Um, the Astronaut Snoopy, I think, is super cool. I want to see that in person with the little dome. The gold metallic Demogorgon with the release of Stranger Things, the season three. I can see that, especially being like the Demogorgon was like the, uh, the creature that kind of started the whole mess. So, you know, kind of weird to have kind of like a statue kind of thing of the creature. But it's very cool. I see the whole gold metallic thing. Pretty cool. Um, moving on to Toy Tokyo, there are six pops that would be shared with them. Three are Ratfink, which is your green chrome one, a gray chrome one, gray chrome one, and a glow in the dark. The glow in the dark being that third one with the red shirt. We have Peter Pez, I believe that's his name, holding a little Pez of himself. We have Kato from Green Hornet, and we have Ultraman, which is a glow in the dark. All very cool pops. I had no idea, like, anything about Rat Fink before, like I've seen these pops, um, but it's a very, I like glow in the dark pops, I think they're pretty cool looking. Peter Pez is like a must have for anybody that likes pop Pezes, or just Pez in general, and it's pretty cool, he's kind of got like that uh, classic stance there with his hands out, like they do Mickey Mouse and all, um, so very cool pops being released there. Think Geek, there is one pop that is shared with them, and it is Sticky Note Man from Office Space. I think that sculpt, even if you don't know anything about office space or anything, I think the sculpt is really cool. Um, how they have to kind of like make it look like sticky notes. I would like to see that in person, but the glam shot of it is just really cool. So I imagine the actual pop would be pretty cool too. So moving on to Walmart. There's quite a bit, um, but it's all really just one wave. We have the Loot Llama from Fortnite, which is a glow in the dark. They also came out earlier this year with, um, or not too long ago, that 10 inch one and um, the regular one, the common one but it's very cool looking and we have the Big Bang Theory like a full wave it's uh, Howard dressed as Batman, Leonard as the Green Lantern, Penny as Wonder Woman, Raj as Aquaman and Sheldon as the Flash and there's also two t-shirts um, I believe one is I'm gonna zoom in here it's the Flash Sheldon as the Flash and it comes I believe in, is it just the box or is it with cereal I think it's just in a box I'm not sure but it could be with cereal um, I can't tell from this picture right here and there's a group one and that comes with the box so all exclusive to Walmart very cool looking moving on to Amazon there's four pops that are shared with Amazon there's Tehran hope I said that right and horned king from the black cauldron there's a green chrome Boba Fett and mr. chuckles mr. chuckles another Toy Story 4 pop I think that is or Toy Story pop um, with the release of Toy Story 4 and he just looks really awesome as a pop too very cool looking Target We'll have two pops being shared with them, and that is Scott Howard from Teen Wolf, very classic movie, and Derek Zoolander as a merman, a very cult classic movie. I guess they're both cult classic? I don't know. We're not going to go there. I know Zoolander is like a cult classic movie, so the pops are just fitting, and Scott Howard holding the, the basketball with, as a wolf, very classic movies. Walgreens has one pop, and that is Wong from Doctor Strange. Very cool looking. Um, he's got the stance going on. And lastly, with the Funko Shop, has I believe like the most, I haven't counted it, but it looks like the most on the list. Um, we have the Sabretooth Tiger from the Flintstones. You guys, if you guys know the intro of that, like he sits in the car with 
uh, Barney, uh, Barney, uh, Fred and Dino and all that. You probably don't even know like he existed in that TV show, but that's him. We have Barney's pet kangaroo, which is very cool. I think those pops are really cool looking. We have Lazy Luke and Sergeant Blast from Wacky Racers. We have HR Puff and Stuff from HR Puff and Stuff. Sigmund from Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. We have an SDCC uh, Toucan mascot and a Batman mascot. Toucan wearing like the SDCC shirt. I know this is like their 50th year, so I think that's probably why they did like the, uh, the mascot. It's pretty cool. Um, and then Batman holding the SDCC bag. Also, Toucan has like a, a pop pez. Moving on, we have the Vegan Police from Scott Pilgrim, another cult classic movie. And we have the Ad Icons, the Quaker Oats mascots, Quisp and Quake. That's a vinyl pack. They're not pops, but it's still very cool looking. And we have four pop pezzes from the Banana Splits, uh, Flegel, Bingo, Drooper, and Snorky. All as pop pezzes, so those are all shared with the Funko Shop. I think the Flintstones, I think those two Flintstones pops are really cool. I thought they said there were more Flintstones pops on the way, like Barney and Fred and Wilma, um, Sam? but they haven't announced those, but that would be really cool if they did. Um, come out with more Flintstones pops. So these are all the pops that are going to be shared with these retailers. Guys, I hope this guide helped you guys out just a little bit. Um, so in store, all these retailers um, will start selling them on the second day of the con, which is July 19th. Um, so you guys can get them all in store depending on your location. You might want to get there early. Um, and online, they go live usually at like 12 o'clock in the morning but there's no set time for any retailer i follow instagram accounts i know i've told you guys about those accounts before so that's the best way to usually get these pops because they post links um when they go live and all you have to do is click the link in their bio and you check out so i will put all the links to anything that i can find um, for you guys in the description again if you guys want this funko guide picture link is in the description if this video helps you guys out give it a big like share it with any fellow collector subscribe if you're new to the channel <laughs>